Hello everyone, I'm Adam Shadoff, your host for the very first edition of SNN Local News 6 Friday Football Fever 2010 version. Who will make the big plays? Who will get the big win? Can anyone go all the way to the state title game? We've got the answers coming up. It's the best local high school football highlight show around. It's on the way. Alright, welcome everybody. We're going to start with our game of the week. Cardinal Mooney hosted Braden River tonight. Let's check out the highlights. We're going to pick it up as Cardinal Mooney comes out pumped up for this one. First quarter we begin, Braden River's Ryan Fisher hands off to Jared Pate. A strong run up the right hand side. 23 yard carry for him. Nice effort. Still in the first quarter, we continue. Fourth down here, same drive. Fisher gives to O. Kolawole, 19-yard touchdown run. He raises the finger because he's in. 7-0, Braden River with the opening score. More from the Pirates. Fisher with the QB keeper this time. 23-yard run to the Cougar 5-yard line. Look at him prancing around Braden River in control of this one. A nice run there. A few plays later, Fisher gives to Pate for his second score on the night. Point after his block. 13-zip Braden River, as you can see. Cardinal Mooney, though, had a little fight left in it. Botch snap here, but quarterback Alex Nugent rolls out, and he throws to a wide-open Daniel Lee Jr. Nice touchdown there, 13-7, and they like it out at Cardinal Mooney. Meanwhile, more from Mooney defense. Check this out, the big sack from Andrew Interl. Cougars gaining some momentum, and he's pumped up. Then there was this play. After the punt, ball on Mooney's own seven-yard line. Nugent mishandles the snap. Braden River recovers in the end zone for a touchdown. 20-7 River at that point. Braden River is your winner. 34-14 in this one is your final score. SNN Local News 6 sports reporter Calvin McClure got a chance to take in this game. He joins us now live from Cardinal Mooney with reaction. Calvin, tell us about the game, bud. That's right, Adam. We're live out here in Cougar Country. Cardinal Mooney against Braden River for a game of the week. Unfortunately, the home team was unable to get it done tonight. I got up with the head coach of Braden River after the game, and here's what he had to say. Uh, I feel like I saw a lot of good things from our guys. I mean, they're trying hard. They're learning new offense, new defense, new special teams. So we're, we're definitely a little bit uh, sluggish right now, a little sloppy. There's a lot of things we need to correct on our side of the ball that we can do on our, on our own. So that's what we're going to get back to on Monday. Great, terrific. Tell me a little bit about what you saw out there that you liked that you can build on going forward in the season. Well, I think there's some uh, some players that uh, came out tonight and surprised us, some guys that have been good practice players, but when the lights came on, they became great players. Uh, and so those guys, uh, especially in the backfield offensively, we, far, we felt like there's some guys that uh, can step up and be really you know, uh, productive for us this season. All right, there was head coach Dunn Purvis from the Braden River Pirates. I'm joined now with head coach Joshua Smithers, head coach of the Cardinal Mooney Cougars. Coach, you guys fought hard tonight, but you weren't able to get it done. Tell me, what did you guys do good tonight? Um, well, I thought, you know, defensively um, we started a little slow, but I thought as the game went on we came out and uh, and, and really showed a lot of effort, and, and uh, we had a couple big uh, stops there, especially with our backs uh, kind of against the wall. Um, so I was really excited that our defense kind of stepped it up as the game went on there. Had 11 fumbles in this game tonight. Tell me, what are, what are some of the things you guys can do better to be better in the future? Well, we can't fumble the ball 11 times. Um, you know, I mean, we both played in the same weather, um, same field, so there's no excuses. Um, but obviously, we got to take care of the football first. We, we were a lot of second and 15s tonight, and, and it's, tough, it's hard to get anything going when, when you do that. So, Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you very much. Head Coach Josh Smithers of the Cardinal Mooney Cougars. That's it for Game of the Week. I'm Calvin McClure for SNN Local News 6 Sports. Adam. All right, thanks, Calvin. Nice job out there. Let's keep it moving, shall we? How about Sarasota? Sarasota at Lakewood Ranch. First quarter, we start. Reggie Lindsay here drops back to pass, and he fires a 10-yard toss and catch to Aaron Horse. Like the name for a 15-yard gain there. Then it's Lindsay. He's going to hand off to Taryn Law for a 20-yard run. First down Mustangs at that point. 
Then Lindsey goes to the air. 25-yard toss here to Daniel Clifford. He just goes up and get it, kind of pushes the DB out of the way there. Nice effort. First down, Mustangs at that point. More from Laws as he takes the handoff here. A hard-running five-yard touchdown up the middle gives the Mustangs a 7-0 lead. Sailors would get their chance. Desmond Hurley keeps it himself for a 25-yard run here. Look at him go. Barely stopped down the sidelines there. That's a first down. Hard earned. Second quarter, another handoff to Hurley. Another 25-yard gain. Look at him turn on the speed after he gets through the hole. First down, Sarasota. Lakewood Ranch, though, went on to win a close one. 10-7 is your final here. Let's move on to our next game down south. Yeah, you know the Venice cheerleaders watch SNN Local News 6. They love Friday football fever. Gainesville made the trip down to take on Venice. First quarter, Indians on the move. Venice QB Dom Flesner tucks it, gets a nice gain there. That led to this little mid-distance field goal by Joey Carlin. Splits the uprights, 3 not of Venice early on with the lead. Indian band didn't mind any of the rain at all. They were out in full force. Still in the first quarter, a nice defensive play from the Indians. Quahim Kapinski reads the QB's eyes, diving interception. Really nice effort on that play. Then a little officiating trouble. Oh, watch out, Mr. Official. I'm happy to report he was not injured. He would go back to the game. He's a football official. He's tough. Back to the action. Flesner rolling to his right. That's an ill-advised pass. It's picked off. Great defensive play. Didn't matter much, though. Flester makes up for it immediately. Nice pass over the top to Jeff Blackburn. He hits pay dirt to make it 10-0 Venice. And the Indians roll. They go on to win this one with a last-second touchdown, winning 24-23. to Well, I don't think you've had enough football yet, because I know I haven't. Good thing we've got plenty more to come. Coming up. We will take you down to Charlotte County, up to Manatee and beyond. Plus, we'll show you the nationally televised showdown from two nationally ranked teams. Stick around. We've got more Friday football fever coming up.